So um, my name is Toby Kahn. Uh, I'm a, a painter sculptor. And for background, uh, I grew up, I'm a child of Holocaust survivors. Um, I grew up in Washington Heights, which um, until I was 18, I knew nobody who was not uh, of German Jewish descent. At the age of six, I told my mother I was going to be an artist. Um, I didn't even know what that meant, but I always loved drawing and I always loved photography. And I then, then studied in a seminary for a few years, never thinking I'd become you know, a, a practicing religious leader. But I have always loved studying ancient texts. I've always been interested in comparative religion. Um, I then went to art school. I got my uh, BA in photography and printmaking from Hunter College, a, a great art school. Um, in fact, I went there because I'd heard Rothko had taught there years before. And uh, then I got my MFA at Pratt in painting and sculpture. I had a teacher there who changed my life whose name was George McNeil. In 1984, Diane Waldman came to the studio and somebody gave a major painting of mine to the Guggenheim. A year later, Lisa Dennison was the curator of the show, which was going to be called New Horizons in American Art. Um, it was sponsored by Exxon. And that show, I, had, I think, had over, over 20 or maybe close to 30 paintings and sculptures in a show at the Guggenheim. And that show really changed my life. Many people saw the work, many curators. I got into 11 group shows that year, museum shows. All I want to do is make art. I mean, that's you know, how I live my life. What interests me about creating art is what the artist sees that most other people don't see. Look at the beach, and I'm sitting right in front of a sky and water painting. What interests me most is where the connection goes between the, the horizon and the water. And it feels like all the action is in that very simple, small space. And the other thing that interests me is when you look at the sky, it's usually not only one color. And you look at the water, depending if there are rocks underneath, how deep it is, if there's coral, the reflection of the sky. I think that's a metaphor for life, um, that nothing is, is as it seems, that there's really so much more happening. You know, when I create a painting, it has to be something that resonates to me on many levels. It's about the original photograph that I took, but it, I wanted to also have another element to it. Uh, the paintings that I do are abstract. Um, and abstract means that it's based on something real, but it's abstracted. And the reason now that I realize that I'm a conceptual artist, and my good friend, the curator and art historian, Emily Bilsky, said to me once when she was interviewing me for a book that she was writing, said, you know, you think you're an abstract artist, but you're really a conceptual artist. And I said, why? And she said, because when you talk about what you've created, it's not only about the process. You tell the story of how you came up with the image. And that's purely conceptual. And my answer is, what I'm doing at a given time is what interests me at that time. There's a sculpture in this exhibition that was based on one of the elements in 9-11. And it was very important for me that the reflection on the ground looks like you're sitting looking at the cityscape and so that was an element that was part of the work. You know, the reflection of the work was equally important to me as actually making the work. If there's no substance behind it, it doesn't work for me. It has to be telling a story. But I don't think the story has to be only interpreted in one way. And I like stories that have multiple interpretations. When I make a piece of art, I want that art to bring you to a I wanted to change you as the viewer. I try and have the viewer come to a place of inner meditation and calmness or a way that they could be at one with themselves. I want you to bring your own experience to that. So if you've been at the beach ever, I want you to look at this painting and the way people put seashells to their ear and hear the ocean. I want you to have that feeling, whether it was a cold day or a warm day, or if you remember your grandparent taking you water skiing, or if you 
you know, remember going scuba diving or you just remember, you know, the first time you met somebody that you loved and you watched sunrise or sunset, you know, that, that's an experience that you have, the viewer has that I, I'm, I'm not showing you my experience, that's your experience and I feel this is a vehicle for that. So when you say to me, this feels like a meditative space, I feel I accomplished what I wanted.